Oh, la. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? Oh, what's going on here? You can go straight. Hello, hello, hello. Who do I see over on Twitch? I can see if I move this wire. I see I can levitate. Hydrated Pelican. Amber Wakeling. The Coin Collector 182. Tuffy Years. Uh, Danku. Uh, Box Coins. Who's over on YouTube? I see Superstar Warrior. Denise Haynes. Robin. GW. Gen C. Rebecca S. Laughter. Uh, Speedy Sue. Uh, Matthew Whitmore. Hello. Hello, UK Coin Hunt. And Katie Jones. Lawrence. Mm, Lawrence, we'll stay with Lawrence because I'm not sure if that's a trick name. Uh, and Tom P, Alan Davis, Dan's Gaming, the JQ, Denise Haynes, Ralph Tree, hello to you, Superstar Warrior, Rebecca S, Dan's Gaming, Mo Ali, Chucky Garden, Master Temple, Ice Phoenix. Hello, hello, hello. You have to bear with me this evening because I am not feeling particularly well. Uh, not as bad as a few weeks ago when I had to cancel my live stream, but I am uh, battling a bit of a cold. Hello, Julian Illet. Uh, Illet, is that how you say it? Julian? Uh, Maxims, Huzzies, ASMR, and Games. <laughs> Amazing. Collecting coins with lemon. Hello. Pock, pop, uh, popcorn Head Productions. Rebecca S. Don't want no one to hold you. What does that mean? Didn't want, n didn't want no one to hold you. What does that mean? I haven't got the faintest idea. Hola, Bungle Collect. No, uh, that's not how you pronounce it then. My apologies, Julian. <laughs> uh, hey man, how are you doing from... Oh, I missed that. <laughs> Hello, may the wrestling be with you. Hashtag Team Cathedral. Ah, oh, dear, Tobias, Tobias, what is wrong? How long are the streams usually? Uh, usually about three hours. We've got a lot of coins to go through, as usual. Uh, Christopher wants... For uh, Christopher, what's for the mintage for the Falklands Island 2P 2011? I ain't got the faintest idea. Laughter might be able to help you though. Laughter knows everything. <laughs> hello, Coin Pig. And Les likes coins. Purple Fairy, hello. Uh, Adam's Apple Gaming. Uh, Team Tower says Denise Haynes, definitely. All the best people at Team Tower, aren't they? Isn't that right, Bungle? Isn't that right, Bungle? <laughs> Dan's Gaming wants a shout out. There you go. Anyone got TikTok? I've seen adverts for it, but I don't have it. I don't understand. Is it like Vine? Uh, is the Queen coin being released tomorrow? That's what I believe. It's going to be a whole set, isn't it? I'm not quite sure the ins and outs of it all, but looking forward to it. Definitely one that I want to get. Have you just got back from the Mint? No, I didn't go to the Mint today. However, Mint uh, do Bitcoin hunt. <laughs> Basically. Um, Royal Mint trip. The next one has now been firmed up and announced. Got a whole bunch of coin tubes coming. Holy Toledo. Eman. Um, has super chatted two pounds over on YouTube and says Marmite, yes or no? Uh, no to Marmite, um, but yes to Twiglets. I love Twiglets. Uh, but um, YouTube, uh, YouTube Royal Mint uh, trip is going to be the seventh of March, the one o'clock tour. Uh, we always try and get there a bit earlier, an hour or so, so we can chat with people. Um, and we always hang around after the Royal Mint tour as well. So if you want to come down and say hello to me or one of the other lovely coin tubers. I think we've got uh, we've got Bungle Collects coins with Lady M coming, uh, Total Coins, Absolute Coins, um, co uh, coins to collect, uh, and potentially Caledonian coins and Coin Cupboard coming as well. Dan Gaming likes the hat. Thank you very much. Yes, the Lucky Fez. It's got to be. Uh, UK Coin Hunt. I have subscribed. Well, there you go, UK Coin Hunt. You got yourself another subscriber. Uh, Evan on 60 FPS says, can I get a shout out, please? There you go. Oh, Coinpig's coming. Coinpig's coming to the mid. Really? Man, I'm well looking forward to that now. Oh, maybe. Coinpig's in the maybe slot. UK Coin Hunt says, Wish I lived in Wales. Dang, I just... CBA with the journey. Well. Wow. It's awesome fun. It's like a whole summit of coin tubers. I do apologise about earlier, Bungle. Hello. What has Norfolk Coin Hunt Elite done? Uh, first time a YouTuber said my name. OMG. Holy Toledo, indeed. Laughter's that in Wales. Uh, the Royal Mint is in Wales, South Wales, Clantricent. Not far from Cardiff. Man, I'm, I'm like well early today. I've got eight minutes to kill. Uh, which £2 coins is worth the most that's in circulation? Uh, Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland. There's a whole, there's four different ones that look very, very similar. In fact, 
whilst we're waiting, let me show you what I mean. So that is Commonwealth Games. You've got Northern Ireland, uh, England, and Wales. It's the little flag that's different on them. That one, it's a, it looks like a cross, but you can see there is something in the middle there. That's the rarest, most valuable two pound coin in circulation that you should find circulation. There's things like the Tosha Cat as well, but um, I've seen hide nor hair of one of them before. Uh, Christopher, please don't forget me when say goodbye. You always get me. Oh, I'm sorry, little bills. I will make a mental note to say goodbye to you. Ferox Hawks is here. Rodney's here for a while. Uh, what's the set for the Queen coins? Five pound, two pound, or fifty p? I think it's five pound, two pound, one pound. Uh, but th those are very um, confusing looking diagrams someone posted on my uh, Discord server and I've not figured it all out yet. Purple Fairies coming to the Royal Mint. What's good? Coins are good. Uh, Rebecca S says, I was here first. I was first here. Oh, are you now? Awesome. Ola Coin Cupboard and Lady M. Uh, Robin GW doesn't have a car. Because Robin GW is 11. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, hello, Holy Toledo. Hello, Wayne Banner. Uh, everyone's going. Everyone is going. Uh, Julian was buying BU coin sets until 2008. Oh, one more Holy year. Toledo. One more year. And Holy Toledo. Hydrated Pelicans hosting the stream. Everyone Discord. On Discord, on Twitch with a the, with the view. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much, Rebecca S. I'm getting way too hot. I need to take this jacket off. I am melting. Master Temple says it's going to be a mental day. Da oh, Master Temple's coming. There we go. Old Rod Boss is on his way. That'd be good. Rough Tree's hoping to get the mint as well. Uh, Womble Alley. I will see you and let you know about the mint source soon. Ooh. See, it's been a while since we last went, and I think the problem was at the end of last year, because it changed three times in three years, uh, three times in three months, um, it's tricky for everyone to get down, so we were seeing less and less people coming each time, but totally understandable. Um, but it's been a while since we all last went, so we're looking forward very much to seeing everyone else. Wear disposable gloves. Ah, I can't be bothered. What's on my t-shirt? It's Kylo Ren. It's one of my favourite t-shirts. <coughs> Gen C is in Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Mint is way too far for me. Oh, I can imagine. I can only imagine. Uh, Christopher, why did you send laughing faces when I sent you a message about jellyfish being important? <laughs> oh dear, I forgot about that conversation. Yes, we are part of the anti-jellyfish league now. Let's pack out the mint. Exactly. There's going to be more of us. What's that small door? That's just a cupboard. Just a cupboard full of uh, junk. What order did you leave your coins in? I put them in uh, date order. Uh, my recommendation is go over to Change Checker. Uh, I always recommend Change Checker because they've got their um, app and it shows you all the coins by denominations. Tells you the mintage figure scarcity, that kind of thing. Uh, Daniel Silver says, I only collect co stan standard coins from England. 2015, 2016 round pounds are not minted for circulation. Uh... 2016. Oh, round pounds. No, they weren't. Correct. Uh, what time on Sunday? Oh, the Sunday morning tour. Yeah, I might pop. I probably will pop to the to the mint on the Sunday as well in the morning. But that won't be um, an announcement. That I'll just be rocking up, booking the tour of the day. Holy Toledo! Thank you very, very much, Harrison. Or super chatted a pound. Thank you very much. Can we have a Q Gardens, please? That wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be good? Good old Caledonian Coins found one on his live stream. I reckon he's the first and only coin tuber to find a Kew Gardens on his live stream so far. We all want cute. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, who won your giveaway? Not been drawn yet. Uh, it's only, it only went up on Thursday, didn't it? It's going to be drawn the weekend I go to the Royal Winter. No, 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 no. no. Can't be. February. It's going to be drawn in February. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's plenty of time for that. Christopher Clex, are you friend of, uh, a friend, a fan of Stranger Things? I've never watched it. I did try watching the first episode and I just didn't quite understand it. Master Temple says, I like the PO Box treasures, Christopher. Oh, it was, that was a stunning video. Some amazing coins very generously sent into the PO Box. Um, 
Now those videos were recorded absolutely ages ago and it's just the amount of time it takes to edit them that prevents me putting them out on a more regular basis. Uh, Sadiq uh, says, I collect rare coins. I have Australian 5p. Awesome. Robin GW says, I found an I in my 10p hunt. Very nice. One of my favorite designs, the letter I, I for ice cream. Well done on my comedies. Thank you very much. We've got Bungle Collects to thank you for that. Um, good old Bungle and uh, sent me, the, well, we traded. I just gave him five, I gave him a thousand pounds of 50ps. He gave me a thousand pounds of two pound coins. I managed to get a couple of comedies, which is very nice. Do I wear the fez all day? <laughs> no, I only wear it for the live streams. Uh, I hope you didn't get another cold. You only had one yesterday. Well, thankfully, it is the same cold. It's abated a bit, though. It, I'm not feeling as rough as... I was feeling pretty rough yesterday. To be fair, I haven't got up too much today, so... But yeah, don't sit too close to your screen. I would hate to pass on <laughs> my, my cold to you. Uh, you, should lo you should lock Coin Cupboard in that cupboard behind you. As he's getting all the commemorative luck lately. Well, that's my own little coin cupboard, isn't it? Hola, Katie Hall. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Bungle Collects Coins will be live streaming from the Mint on the 7th of March. How cool is that going to be? How is my cat? Cat's fine. Cat's probably out trying to kill something. Uh, you need some whiskey and honey. I can't drink whiskey. I, can't, I haven't drunk whiskey since I was at university. Holy Toledo. Um... Hello Pajama Idiot. Your prize went out yesterday. I sent a whole bunch of stuff out in the post yesterday. Apologies it's taken so long. Um, it's just a real bind trying to get to the post offices because obviously I work 9 till 5. Uh, on my lunch breaks I'm shipping coins in and out of banks so trying to get the time to do it is virtually impossible. Holy Toledo. Is that Pigeon Alert? Pigeon Alert? Is that right Coin Cupboard? Pigeon Alert? Thank you very very much Katie Hall. That's very kind of you. Well we've got one minute to go I think. Let's start looking at what we're looking for. Let's start looking at what we're looking for. What am I on about? So, 2018. We'll start with 10 Ps. 2018. So, every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially British uh, minted onto the coins. So you've got things like B for Bond. We've got F. We've got G. We've got L. We've got M. We've got I. We've got N. We've got Q. P. S. R. We've got X. V. T. And U. For 2018. Are £5 coins and 25p crowns the same? Uh Maybe. <laughs> Not my area of expertise, it must admit. Uh, 2019, we've got E, F, G, H, I, K, uh, L, X, and V. So we've got plenty still to get. Hopefully we'll be lucky. Um, but the 10 Ps can be a bit hit and miss. But we'll do our best. We will do our best. Spending time with my favourite YouTuber ever. You're a legend. Uh, I would love to meet you. Oh, thank you very much, Molly Halfpenny. Well, if you're <coughs> wanting to go to the Royal Mint, plan to go to the Royal Mint, that'd be the best place to come and say hi. Not just to me, but to all of the other coin tubers who are coming down as well. Uh, Ice Phoenix found a Gibraltarian £2 coin yesterday. Oh, wow. Very nice. Right, then. Oh, I didn't empty the bin. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. I just have found anything good yet. This is the first handful of coins. First handful of coins. You haven't missed a thing. But who else is excited for the Queen coin coming out? It can't just be me. It can't just be me. We had a little um, nerd out about Queen on the last live stream. These coins are freezing cold. It was just sit on the bag, that might cool me down. <laughs> oh, Lita Lita, Canadian Ryan Super Chat five Canadian dollars. Good luck with the hunt, Chris. Thank you very much. Alfie Wesley says, can I send you a Kew Gardens? I would not want you to send me a Kew Gardens. If you've got a Kew Gardens, keep it in your collection. I'm very lucky, I've already got two. Uh, so keep it in your collection by all means. Has Bungle recovered from this morning's broadcast yet? <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was funny. Poor Bungle. Poor Bungle. Foot in mouth disease. Foot in mouth disease. Gotta be 
and I thought it's a kind of magic. There we go. And what I mean it's safe to say we all want the queue secretly. Very true, very true. Uh, what is the money being sent for? What is what money being sent for? You have lost me. Uh, Key and Reagan found a pun like yesterday. Wowee. And hello to you, Harry's Nan. These coins are freezing. What is going on? I think I've, been in, I've kept them in, in the downstairs cupboard since I took them out and they are freezing. Let me just put my jumper back on at this rate. Thank you very much, North, uh, Norfolk Coin Hunt Elite. Uh, the Canadian dollars and things, that money. It's just um, people donating as a thank you because obviously the streams are free to watch. And you get a little message pop up and a little thank you. I used to have a little scroll bar down the bottom for people that uh, were generous enough to donate a bit of small change, but um, I couldn't get that working for Twitch. I couldn't get it working for YouTube, so I thought it was a bit unfair. Hey Chris, what have you found? Nothing yet. I think there's only about the second, third bag. It was minus five degrees last night. Wow, wait. That's probably why the coins are so cold. Can we see a new 2020 coin in circulation? Hopefully. Hopefully. Any day now, maybe. That'll start minting them. That uh, 50p, the Team GB, is an absolute stunner. That would be an awesome one to find. I need Patrick back. Very true. Very true. Oh, there we go. We found something. There we go. It's Gibraltarian. The Great Siege. Is it the Great Siege? I should know this. I've seen this coin plenty of times. It's got a bit of a schmutz on it. But we shan't ask any questions as to what that is. 2006. Well, there we go. At least we know it's not going to be an empty bag. Holy Toledo. Gary Logan super chat of £5. Thank you very much, Gary Logan. Gary Logan. Name sounds familiar from, from somewhere. Let me look at your little profile picture. I recognise people from their profile pictures more than their names most of the time. Uh, do you have a website to buy coins? Uh, I have a website. I don't sell my coins. I'm a hoarder. I'm a collector rather than a coin dealer. So coins that I find I keep. But I, there I do have www.crystalcollects.co.uk and my little tokens are on there. Along with those old one pound notes I found since last year. Last year that I got them. Do I swap? Very, very rarely. Because the issue is, I've got all these all the UK circulating coins, so there isn't an awful lot that I Holy like Toledo! To Holy Toledo. Fishing has joined the, the hunt over on um, Twitch. Thank you very much. The most students in a single A to Z 10p. They are very, very elusive, to be fair. Very elusive. As I'm demonstrating. Have you ever been to Kew Gardens? I haven't. I would love to go, though. It's on my list of things to do, but the problem is I don't like going to London. I avoid it at all costs. There's too many people. And there's the tubes and the, and the escalators and the hustle and the bustle and the noise. It's not so bad going down as like a tourist where you've got no time constraints, you can go where you want, when you want. But trying to get to London for meetings or training courses and things, it is just hell on earth. <coughs> did Gary once sing in the European Song Contest? When did the dinosaurs come, coins come out? I think they come out the next school holidays. Is the indication I was getting from the uh, Royal Mint's press releases. Hello Jude S. Hello We Caroline. Uh, Ice Phoenix says I've been looking through my rack at work for over a year for them, and only found the letter P. That was the first one I ever found. When they started being launched into circulation, I was hunting through bags of ten Ps, looking for them, and I must have hunted through I don't know five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bags of ten Ps and not found anything. So I never uploaded these videos because it seemed pointless. Uh, and then I finally found one, the letter P, and holy moly was I excited. Over the moon. Uh, just pay for your peer box address. I do, yes. 
It is not free. McDonald's or KFC? Ah, oh, McDonald's. Not a shadow of a doubt in my mind. When I took Patrick to go see, um, that's my little brother Patrick, to see Star Wars, um, we went to KFC because he wanted to go to KFC. And I kid you not, we were stood there for 25 minutes waiting for our order to be done. And there were, it wasn't even like there was a ton of people there. I think they were just prioritising people in the drive through So I stood there going, man, if this is 25 minutes we've been waiting here. This is time we were, I had earmarked for us to be eating. So we had to, we grabbed our food, we had to wolf the food down and then run to the cinema. McDonald's or KFC, I can levitate, it says none. Oh dear. I do love McDonald's. Oh, what's going on over on YouTube? I can see fl flashing black and uh, holy Doritos. <laughs> Someone stole your cue. Shout me out to undo. Alfie Wesley. Is that how, how? Is that how it works? Is that how thieves work? Hello, Bo Selector. Can you walk through the drive-thru? That's not a bad idea. Can you actually do that? Will they will they serve you that way? Maybe that's what I should have done. To be fair, I parked up. I should have just driven through the drive-thru, shouldn't I? Whopper is better than a Big Mac. Oh, um, I'm not sure I can agree with you there. Whoppers are nice, but Big Macs are heaven. Heaven in the cardboard box. Uh, uh, da, 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 only if you make engine noises. <laughs> I can walk through the drive through as long as I make engine no noises according to CoinPig. That's what I do then. That's what I do. If they question me, I can say, well, Coinpick told me to say. Coinpick knows everything. How am I? I'm okay. I'm battling a bit of a cold, but I'm doing fine, thank you. I got my Lemsip. Lemsip and Lucas say that's what I've been powered by today. Hopefully the coin gods will be kind. They'll be looking down on me saying, oh, look, he's he's got a cold. He's still he's still doing the live stream, still doing the hunts. Let's reward him for his dedication. Here you go, here's five key gardens. Have I ever tried have I tried the new vegan steak bake? Nope. I haven't even tried the vegan the vegan sausage roll yet. I'm not a vegan though, so I've got no need to. If you're a vegan, go for it, crack on, but I would much rather Ooh look, we've got the tomatoes. Talking about vegans and summoned the tomatoes. 2012. Je uh, Guernsey. There we go. Drop a brandy in my lip sip and do the trick. I don't know. I don't know. I might hit the floor. Starting my vegans again. Hello, Freddy2001. Uh, I couldn't go vegan because I like cheese too much. They do vegan cheese, they don't. They do vegan everything. But no, should we not get started on vegans? We started that. We, we've had this discussion a couple of weekends in a row. <laughs> Do I have a coin sorting machine? I do, for bagging up the coins. Although it doesn't so much need to sort them, it just like counts them into... Um... Why is it flashing? Is it just me for that it's flashing for? Bizarre. Uh, it just sort of counts it into little trays with the right amount of coins for a bag. But it does save an awful lot of time. An unbelievable amount of time is saved by using that machine. And I will normally do it on a Monday evening watching Caledonians Coins live stream. 
because he's normally live from 7 p.m. Little plug for him. He will be making a visit at some point to the stream. Max is back. Hello, Max. We are supposed to have a McDonald's going in Chroma. If it does or not, we don't. What? I see. Okay. Ugh. Let's not even wonder, wonder what that is. I don't want to know. How many alphabets are minted in the UK? Um, um, we've got 220,000 of each letter for 2018. We don't know about 2019's mintages yet. Uh, Norfolk Coin Hunt Elite says, Me and Tech, tech Girl wish you better soon, Christopher. Thank you very much. Don't have a McDonald's in Orkney. Man, oh man, that's a bit of a trek from McDonald's, then, isn't it? Do they deliver? <laughs> Do they deliver to Orkney? Should it be stone cold by the time they get there? Because Greg, Greg's have just launched their own um, delivery service, haven't they? Actually, I do like Greg's, and I probably have Greg's most most days at work for my lunch. But if I've got an arrangement of uh, fast food deliveries to choose from, I don't think I'd pick Greg's. It seems like an odd sort of food to order. Whoops. Do I believe in ghosts? No. Nope. Kate will choose Subway. Oh no, again, Subway is just... I'm not a massive fan of Subway either. It's too much choice. Too much choice. I just want to go to the counter and say, can I have a Big Mac, please? Yes, you certainly can. There's your Big Mac. They never say, what do you want in your Big Mac? <laughs> uh, when did you start coin collecting, says Magpie Mills. I've collected coins on and off since I was a kid. Uh, but my collection, I started hunting again. Was it 2017, 2018? I forget now. 2017, I think. Hey Christopher, how are you tonight? I'm doing okay, thank you, Kim. Got a bit of a cold, but battling through. Did I hit 39,000 subscribers today? I believe I did, yeah. It's pretty bonkers, isn't it? But massive thank you to everyone that subscribed. I can't believe how much the channel keeps growing and growing and growing. And I've already got some very nice prizes for my 40,000 subscriber giveaway. They are on their way. So looking forward to that. It might be a little bit after getting 40,000 subscribers because obviously my current giveaways are running for two weeks. But either if that once that one's finished, after or after I hit the 40,000 subscribers, that one will be going up and to be a very very nice one. So stay tuned. Even better than my 30k subscriber giveaway. If you're asking me, that is. <laughs> Please react to Amurus Autism on YouTube. This is not a reaction channel. This is not a reaction channel. <laughs> do, you how, do you want to see how I normally react to videos? Hmm. That's about it. <laughs> I am not the most reactive person. UK coin forever is on 261 subscribers got a very long way to go to where, to where I am well I was at 260 subscribers at one point as well it just takes uh, time and dedication and uh, what I always say to people that come and ask me to, for advice on making a coin hunting channel my advice is always find have a think about what makes you unique because there's lots of us doing it now when I started you had um, Absolute Coins, UK Coin Hunt, and uh, UK Coin Hunter. He was uh, Richie's world at the time, but he's now UK Coin Hunter. So there weren't as many people doing it. But now you look at it, there's tons and tons of people doing it. 
and it's about trying to find that sort of unique selling point that you have. So there we go, I told you Caledonian Coins would be here. We gave Caledonian Coins a little plug. I just want to confirm that Caledonian Coins, you are streaming Monday, 7 p.m. If not, you might have um, you might have some disgruntled viewers banging on your door. <laughs> What's my rarest coin beside the Kew Gardens? It's a tough one to answer, rarest coin, because although, yes, Kew Gardens is the rarest coin in circulation, uh, there's the EU Presidency, which I'm lucky to have two of. It's an old, larger 50p. Uh, I've got two of them. Um, I found a I found a jersey 50p before this got only got a mintage of 10,000, which is pretty bonkers. And then there's like the NIFC 50ps, the ones that were put into the collector sets but not into general circulation. They've got a low mintage. Or the Isaac Newton strike here in the 2018 that the very kind and lovely coin cupboard um, sent to my peer box a long, long time ago. So it's hard to say. Oh, 7.30 tomorrow for Caledonian Coins. There we go. I'll endeavour to be there. If you're not disgruntled... Are you gruntled? <laughs> there we go. That's a shower thought for you, isn't it? If you're not disgruntled, are you naturally gruntled? I guess so. I guess so. Has to be. Uh, Christopher, can you say hi to all the folk on YouTube from me, please? That's from Master Temple. Master Temple says hello. Uh, Stephen P has Olympic football. Shh, don't tell Bungo. Don't tell Bungo. <laughs> oh, that is grim. Cold lemsip. Yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, where are you going? Come back. Oh, it's that one. It's the same thing, shield. Well, we are not having much luck with these alphabets, are we? Bungle would love a football. And I'd love an Olympic wrestling, but <laughs> that's just the way it goes. <laughs> Can you say no, Denise? No, Denise. Good evening, uh, Stuart Brown. How is Olympic boxing? The Olympics are all, pre are all pretty scarce, to be fair. The Olympics are all pretty scarce nowadays. Any hunt where you find an Olympic is a pretty successful hunt. How many Pakistani rupees do I have? I don't have many. I think in the region of 15, 20 from the world coin hunts. I've got tons of Indian coins um, and a few from Bangladesh. So from that neck of the woods. Oh dear, what's happened to you? That's pretty gross. We'll fly past that one. We won't linger on the Minga. <laughs> Limits are hard to find as you have most of them under my, under my bed. <laughs> I don't have most of them. I've got a fair few. But as a proportion, a fraction of the amount that are in circulation, the ones that I have are negligible. Favourite James Bond movie? Man with the Golden Gun. It's got to be. He's my favourite Bond as well, Roger Moore. And Christopher Lee. So Christopher Lee is just a phenomenal actor. 50p today? Yes, we'll be doing 50p's after this bag of 10p's. We've got four bags of 10p's left. Uh, Chris, tell us stateside about your hat. So the hat is a fez. Whilst I was on holiday last year in Tunisia, um, uh, I haven't seen him on. Uh, Frankie Franks told me if I came back without a um, fez, he'd be most disappointed. And there we go. And I wore it on a live stream, and it was really, really lucky. So now it's the lucky fez on the live streams. It's got to happen every week without fail. Uh, Koba likes Moonraker. That was another good one. Jaws is a good villain. Because he was in two, wasn't it? Um, Moonraker and... Uh, what, what was the other one that Jaws was in? The Living Daylight? Uh, a View to a Kill? A View to a Kill? Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember. What's everyone else's favourite James Bond film then? Holy Toledo! Ice Phoenix's Goldfinger, that's another very good one. 
Holy Toledo. James the Fisherman has joined the hunt over on YouTube. Thank you very much. On, on um, Twitch. Man of the Golden Gun says Sam Klotz. Thunderball. Thunderball was okay. Spy Who Loved Me. That was good. Harrison says, Christopher Clegg, are you ignoring my... Uh, the main message is someone has 400 2001 Ps. Who said that? I haven't seen that. My apologies. There are lots of messages flying in. I do try and endeavour to answer as many as I can see. But I do have to look away from time to time to look at the coins. OSH is happy. Hit 200 Holy subscribers. Wow, very well done. Casino Royale. That was good. They had Mads Mikkelsen in it, didn't it? Mads Mikkelsen? I think it's Mads Mikkelsen. Spy Who Loved Me, Underwater, Lotus, and the villain Jaws. Oh, is it Spy Who Loved Me that Jaws was in as well as Moonraker? When Jaws meets Dolly and Moonraker is funny. The <laughs> fairy doesn't like James Bond. I'm not a massive fan of James Bond. I haven't seen all of the new ones. Um, there used to be family tradition, sitting down and watching Bond films. What about Bob James Bond theme tunes then? What's everyone's favourite James Bond theme tune? Goldfinger's a is a popular one. I think I liked A View to a Kill. I did also like um, Man with the Golden Gun as well. I love the new Men in Black movies. I don't think I've seen them all. I think I've seen the first and the second one. UK only have bags or also rolls. The uh, UK coins are all in bags. I'm sure at some point they will move over to something that's not made of plastic. From Russia with Love is the best song. Ooh. I don't think I've actually seen that one. It's George Lazen Lazenby? Lazenby? Do I collect Roman coins? I will collect any coins that I can get my hands on. I am not fussy. <laughs> Skyfall, yeah. Living Daylights is good, but also like you only live twice. Yeah. Now, the man who gripe with um, James Bond, the new ones. I'm not a massive fan of Daniel Craig as, a, as James Bond, because um, to me James Bond was always that suave, sort of, well, Roger Moore character. Whereas um, Daniel Craig's looks a lot, a lot more thuggish. It's a lot more realistic as well. Whereas James Bond villains... I mean, look at Jaws. Jaws is a villain. You, If you released the new James Bond film and um, put a, the arch the arch uh, henchman of the bad guy as a man with metal teeth that's really tall, <laughs> people would go for it, would they? Or well, odd job. Holy Toledo. And, like, and his whirling dervish hat. Hello Toledo, uh, Milo, Serious Five has done the hunt over on Twitch, or was it You Only Live Twice, the man that's pa that painted himself? There was a sort of, sort of a silliness to James Bond, which I quite liked. Am I in London Coin Fest Saturday 1st of February? Uh, I've not planned around it yet. It just elbowed with the next Bond. Really? There's something that rumours have been bandied around a lot about who's going to be the next Bond. I'm sure whoever they pick will do a stellar job of it. Uh, Charlotte, if you keep spamming like that, you're going to find yourself timed out. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got one. Oh, Lee Toledo in the last bag. We got one. Woohoo! I think Apple should make a coin emoji. What about you? Yeah, why not? And for Macintosh, we got one. Houston, we have liftoff. What is going on? I can barely see it. 2018. Not that nice a condition one, but there we go. Well, at least we found one. We can't complain at that, can we? Wait, where are you going? There we go. <coughs> 20... Yeah, this 2018. Is that a new one? Do we need that one? 
I'm so bad at remembering. I don't know if we've already got that one. Well, it's nice to find one regardless. So we got the letter N for Macintosh. We've also got a Guernsey and a Gibraltarian. The Guernsey one's a nice shiny one, isn't it? Very nice. Have you got ten pound now that just going out of service? What? If you would like to make sense and try again, <laughs> feel free to. I must say that Y is my favourite design. Y is a very nice design. Ember Moonraker. There we go. Uh, how many World War One themed coins are there? There's quite a few, to be fair. Quite a few. <laughs> Uh, your Twitch link is incorrect in your YouTube desk description. Oh, is it? Whoopsie. My bad. I'll have to get that fixed at some point then. But I think I need, I need to go wash my hands because Tempe's are pretty filthy. So I shall be back in a moment. And we're back. We're going to be looking at 50p's next. Ugh, this is grim. Blah. Bit of coffee, bit of coffee. How's the hunt going? Well, thank you for tuning in, Paul. Uh, we got letter M, we got a couple of territories. Hello to you too, King Arius, thanks for tuning in. Have you got a £10, the one before the plastic? Oh, I'm with you, I see. Um, no, I don't really, I don't seek out notes to, to collect them. Some people have been very kind and sent some awesome looking ones into the box, but um, I didn't go out of my way to keep one, no. Steve Downs says, I'm late, what have I missed? Uh, we found the letter M and we found two territories. We're about to move on to the first bag of 50 Ps. Uh, Reading or Newbury? Um, uh, in terms of what? The, I'm sort of wedged between the middle of the two. Amazing Stoke. Oh, I'm my bin, isn't I? Oh. Right, but we've got 50p's next. So we are looking for. Uh, where do I get these bags? I get them from my bank. I'll explain in a moment. Let's go through the book first, though. We are missing Kew Gardens, as ever. We are missing Olympic Athletics, Olympic Football. We've got a whole page of Olympics here. And we're missing Triathlon. We won't talk about that one in the middle. Bit of a sore subject. <laughs> We've got all the other ones that are the more modern ones, including Jemima Puddle Duck, Isaac Newton, uh, Flopsy Bunny must be on the other page. Keep the rarest one from that set separately there. Nice Flopsy Bunny. Isn't that right, Bungle? And then we've got up to the two Paddingtons. Paddington at the tower and Paddington at the cathedral. Uh, Charlotte has the fencing Olympic. Very nice. What other things do you like doing apart from collecting stamps and coins? Uh, Outside of that, I'm going to work and sleeping. I don't have a lot of other time. Um, I like watching movies. Um, 
Team Tower says Denise Haynes, definitely. <coughs> team Tower, Team Tower. Everyone's Team Tower. All the best people are Team Tower, aren't they? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Jockey Garden reckons tennis first Olympic fine today. How much is Olympic shooting worth? Olympic shooting, um, off the top of my head, maybe up to a fiver, I would say. Some pretty desirable ones. Uh, I'll be keeping the Britannias and Shields separate, so Britannias will be looking for the years 2008. Shields will be looking for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, which are not intended for circulation, but also the year 2017 is a low minted year. I'll be on my Discord server on the voice chat, hunting through them if you want to over for a chat. Uh, do I work in a bank? No, I used to. Uh, but I don't anymore. I left that job about nine months ago before it uh, drove me over the edge. <laughs> but I don't like to talk about what I do for work at the moment. There are some things I'll keep personal, but I'm more than happy to talk about my previous jobs because no one can come and um, knock on my door in my previous jobs. Dundee or Aberdeen? Huh? That must, must be directed at someone else. <laughs> that can't be me. Master Templar's Team Cathedral. Ah, oh, Master Temple. Unbelievable. I was right last year. And you're all abandoning me. <laughs> We've got Taylor Peter Rabbit. 2017. Very, very common. We're a little bit low, a little bit low down here. Let's come up a little bit, just a smidge. You can't—I know you can't see the coins on the table because uh, the autofocus on this is garbage. But I'm sure you would much prefer to see the coins I'm looking for through rather than the ones that we've already looked through. When will the giveaway winner be re revealed? Uh, it is in the description of the video. I think it's about three weeks. I gave it three weeks, two weeks. I forget now. Seems to be confusing me with someone that has a memory. <laughs> wow, well, well, this is not going particularly well, is it? Master Templar Purple the Fairy, a correct with Team Cathedral. No way. No way. Are there any is that any coin cheaper that is Team Tower as well? Because I'm feeling a little bit alone. I'm sure total coins might be Team Tower. And I'm sure laughter could be Team Tower. Hello, Lighty Collects. How are you? What about you, Lighty Collects? Team Tower, Team Cathedral? Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Dixie Girl UK has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. We've got Team GB 2016. Let's start differentiating them, aren't we? This way, if the new one goes into circulation. If you found a, cup, a grubby queue, what would you do? I keep it as it is. I don't clean coins. Cleaning coins is bad. Uh, coins of more UK is Team Tower. There we go. Let's see all those Team Towers. Katie Hall's Team Tower. IT Collects is Team Tower, as is Rich Swift. James Woodley. It's got splinters sitting on the fence. I think they're both going to be the same, same mintage. Team Tower, Team Tower. Look at all these towers flowing in now. See? These people know. These people know. Uh, what's the most common Olympic coin? Uh, archery. I believe. Uh, is Twitch better than YouTube? Um, I mean, they're, they're very different, aren't they? I mean, Twitch is, is uh, designed for live streaming. Um, but I think majority of my audience are, ooh, ooh, there we go, jackpot, Olympic table tennis, or is it Paralympic, it is Paralympic, there we go, see Master Temple, I got it right this time, I got it right Master Temple, don't tell me off, <laughs> first great find of the 50ps, wowee, very, very nice, Chucky Garden was half right, yeah, Chucky Garden did say tennis, to be fair, <laughs> Ping pong. Oh, 
Let's bring it all up. Uh, ping or Pong? Uh, pong. There we go. Usual suspect, Paddington at the Cathedral. Get used to seeing him. We're going to find him a whole bunch this evening. That much I'm sure of. Just to prove the point, it's going to happen. It's going to be the case. Team Tower. Team Tower. To be fair, you'll be, the, you'll be the, those of you that are Team Cathedral, the ones laughing, because you'll have more towers than your cathedrals, and it's going to be the rarer, rarer of the two. So that works in your favour. Pong, the, ta the tennis game, definitely. Oh, we've got a giant bag. A giganto bag. It's double stuffed. Double stuffed or triple stuffed, I don't know. I can see, though, another cathedral. Just saying, three of them. Three cathedrals, no towers. Towers yet to be swatted. Uh, that's Olympic plane guiding, not table tennis. There we go, see. There we go. Olympic plane guiding. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear 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 we've got dictionary there that's a common one to find though we find tons and tons of that where do I get the books for my coins I get them from eBay but stay tuned because I'm hoping very soon to have Christopher Collect's uh, book co books coming out we've got uh, public libraries straight after dictionary that's one of Bungle's little mini sets right is that right Bungle is that right Bungle these off to the side uh, coin pig is hashtag team Paddington team Paddington in general there we go representation of the people act <coughs> excuse me another common one let me have a swig of my drink before I descend into a coughing fit <coughs> excuse me Right. Oh, we got Commonwealth Games there. Another one we see quite a bit of. <coughs> Dear me. Let's have another bit of my drink in a moment. <coughs> Dear. Stop it. Uh, what bank do I get my coins from? I get them from NatWest. And I use Lloyds Bank to pay them in. But I've got a business account, which does make a difference for some banks. Some banks will allow you uh, to take coin, uh, lots of coins out of your personal account and likewise pay them back into your personal account. But lots of banks will have a limit on how many you can take in and out uh, and give a given time from personal account. We've got a dictionary there. Oh, we've got Battle Hastings as well. That's a relatively nice one to find. It's slightly more than face value. I have the same mug as C. Uh, Gooding 55. <coughs> Dear me. There we go. Another nice one to find. Uh, Dixie Girl UK says Hi, thanks for the mention. I'm new to Twitch. I live in Nottingham. Are you looking for rare coins of, for value? Uh, on how many produced? Could you give me a quick rundown? Yeah, so we're looking for. Uh, scarcer oh, ones. ones with lower mintage that are over face value uh, Ruby24 is now hosting the stream on Twitch, thank you very much so um, I'll show you in a moment, let me go through this little handful anything Olympic is a good find they're getting very very scarce because uh, you have many many people collecting like myself taking them out of circulation James Woodley found a suffragette today. Oh, very nice. That's a nice coin to find. Seeing less and less of that one. Uh, how does one get a business account? Do I actually need to own a business? I'd imagine so. Holy Toledo, another Battle of Hastings. There we go. We can stick that with the other Battle of Hastings we've had. Finding two of them. Pretty good going. Coke or Pepsi? Coca-Cola, 100%. 
We have got Battle of Britain. So I'm Battle of Britain. <coughs> Dear me. I'm Battle of Britain alone with the 50 Ps. There's two initials you can find on the obverse, the side of the Queen's head. Uh, you can find IRB, which is, stands for Ian Rank Broadly, which was only put into the collector set. So someone's busted this one out of their little collector sets and spent it at a shop, paid it into their bank, wherever it happens to be. You can find it in your change, but you're not supposed to. The one you should find is the one that says JC on it. So this one is a JC. So not the uber rare IRB Battle of Britain. The hunt for that continues. Now just to put into context, in the time that I have been hunting through coins, I have found two Q Gardens and no IRB Battle of Britons. <laughs> Oh, Cobra, very good. <laughs> are there any Cold War themed coins? I imagine there are. There are some, there'll be some coins from the USSR and from America during the Cold War, if that's what you mean. Another Paddington at the Cathedral. Bungle, 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 bungle. Do you believe me now, bungle? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Get back in the pile. about and oh, no, that's 2001 I thought there was something there oh there we go that's a nice one mrs titomas from the 2018 beatrix potter set uh what is a shilling a crown and a quid uh, a quid is a pound shillings and crowns are uh old uh pre-decimal uh denominations of coins mrs titomas though my favorite uh, beatrix potter of all such a cute design and then we've got christopher Einside. A common one, but a very cool design nonetheless. Such a waste of plastic. I hate those bags. Exactly. But it should definitely go to something more, something reusable or recyclable. Definitely, for sure. Now, shilling was 5p, crown I think was 12 half pennies. Uh, pass. Oh, there we go. Peter Rabbit for 2016. Very nice. Slightly more than face value, the whole 2016 set, uh, with the exception of um, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. And she is still only face value. No Benjamin Bunnies yet. Where are the Benjamin Bunnies? Show me the bunnies. Flopsy Bunny is Goblin Luke Dutch Spotted's favourite Beatrix Potter. What's everyone else's favourite um, um, Beatrix Potter 50p? Hey, where are you going? Uh, do you make money from this or more of a hobby? I make a bit of pocket money from the YouTube channel, but it is much more of a hobby. I, do, I work full time as well, so this is not my primary source of income by any stretch of the imagination. Perplexed, uh, or Dancing on Ice. I don't watch Dancing on Ice. <laughs> Has that started up again? I thought that was a, sort of like a winter. Well, I guess it is winter, isn't it? Well, it's January. I thought it was sort of a Christmassy TV show. <coughs> Tom Kitten, Jamie Fisher, or Mrs. Puddle Duck? Tom Kitten? Little mouse. Oopsie. Good to make a bit of money. Helps cover the business card charges and the giveaways. Definitely. It's all swings and roundabouts, isn't it? Wait, we've got another good one there. UK's entry into the EEC. All about to be undone. Very shortly in the end of the month. Lovely. EastEnders or Coronation Street? Uh, again, I don't. I don't watch the soaps. But in the past, when I have seen bits and pieces of them, I thought Coronation Street was a lot less dark and dreary to watch. And the northern accents are great. <laughs> How rare is Girl Guides? It's pretty common. And this is 2019. We've been busted out of the 50s, the 50p set. That is a nice find to find. A nice find to find.
Uh, getting closer to 40,000 subscribers. I know it's bonkers, isn't it? For those of you that weren't uh, here for the very start, I've bought some very nice uh, prizes for the 40k subscriber giveaway. So, stay. Ooh! Olympic number two. Oh, Lita Lido. Badminton? Badminton ball? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Very, very nice. We're on a roll today. Two Olympics. Holy Toledo. Can you believe it? And not the nicest quality one, but there we go. I shan't complain. Any Olympic is a good Olympic. Even if it's just been dredged out of a canal. <laughs> Two people with a bat. <laughs> exactly. Another reaction. <laughs> a good wee hunt so far, exactly. Not as good as your one, Coin Covered. The one I watched whilst I was editing a video this morning. Holy Toledo, did you have, did you have good luck? Our 2019 Shields rare? Probably not. We don't know the actual minted figures, but I would hazard a guess that they're not. Much like Paddington at St. Paul's, in which we found one, two, three, four, five of them, and no towers. <laughs> I watched Bungle's stream this morning and he was rubbing it into the people that are Team Tower. Now, those of you that are Team Cathedral, are you kicking yourself yet? <laughs> There's still time to defect. Come over and join us. Public Library's there. There we go, our first patent at the Tower. Now, that's definitely a keeper. It's got to be. Coin Covers 2020 luck has been pretty decent so far. Ooh. Well, maybe this could be your year. This could be your year. Oh, a bit of blue on that one. Another iron side, iron side. Oh my goodness, what is going on today? Holy Toledo, Olympic number three. Can you believe it? What is going on? Got some of that coin covered luck. <laughs> Amazing. Table tennis, tennis, badminton. Hmm, there's, there's a bit of a trend going on here, isn't there? A little bit of a trend going on here. You spot the trend? Spot a trend here? This is definitely a reaction channel. <laughs> Very good, Julian. I guess. I guess you got me there. You got me there. They're all um. They're all uh, rackets and ball games. Are there any other Olympics that use rackets? Any other Olympic sports I can think of? I can't. <laughs> Very funny bungle. They all have nets. There we go. Any other ones that got nets? Any other Olympic 50Ps that could be described as having a net in the sport? Volleyball. Ah, there we go. Jonathan's got it. Volleyball should be the next one. Football has a net, yeah. There's a ball on the net. Don't tell Bungle, though. <laughs> Fishing. Fishing has nets. <laughs> Basketball. It's got a ball. It's kind of, it has got a net as well, I guess. You can stretch. Yeah, I guess you can stretch that, couldn't you? Boxing has a net. Mm. Does it? Another Paddington at some pools. And there we go, Sherlock Holmes. Which I reckon is going to be lower minted than we thought initially. Mushroom says, my mate Annette does Taekwondo. <laughs> Handball, yeah, there we go. Another ball game that we might find. Goal ball. As I said, nets. On the net. Netball. Hair net. Basket, netball, hair nets, netball, butterfly catching. Can't do that without a net. Goodness gracious. Very true. Very true. Olympic butterfly catching. Sounds like my kind of sport. Hello, chubby cheddar. 
Well, I've got the hat on. It's the lucky Fez, and it's bringing us some good luck with the 50p's. We've found three Olympics. Holy tilly day. Uh, Katie Sarge has got seven Sherlock's, so you hope they're low minted, definitely. Yeah, I was finding tons of them and thought nothing of it, and now I'm finding less and less. Uh, we've got Roger Bannister. Another Paddington at St Paul's. I mean, Bungle. How can you? How can you? How can you deny the Team Tower of Victory now? There we go. See another one. Holy Toledo! This is making me very, very happy. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! What have you missed? We have found three Olympics. Unbelievably, we've got tennis, badminton, table tennis. This is Tittle Mouse. Holy Toledo. Uh, Holy Toledo. Ellis Pask is hosting the stream with a viewer. Thank you very much. Grossy Coin Hunt says, didn't I say I'm Team Sherlock all along? Remember that I'm the real winner. Wow. I still believe Patent at the Tower is going to be victorious. I have every faith in Paddington at the Tower. Alfie home, Alfie's Home Funny Clips says, I have Glasgow, Commonwealth, Tom Kitten, Battle Hastings of Victoria, Heroic Acts. Very nice. A very good start. Uh, HMS Belfast. Oh, we're not allowed to call it that anymore. We get told off if we call it that. Oops. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Harrison Law is hosting the stream of the viewer. Thank you very much. Where's that queue? Who knows? But we found the three Olympics, so we can't grumble. We cannot grumble. Black Tower or Blue Nun. Um, can I have a a sweet, sweet, fruity cider, please, instead? Holy Toledo. Uh, free Elysian has joined the hunt. Thank you very much. No Isaac Newton for ages. I know. I haven't found an Isaac Newton in I don't know how long. Paddington the Cathedral. Paddington at the Cathedral. Too many plastic bags, Chris. Um, and what would you like me to do about that? What could I do? Holy Toledo. Give us a clue. Holy Toledo, who's that? Uh, C. Good Ing 55. Let's join the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very much. Copperberg or Record League? <sighs> they're, they're both one of the, one and the same, really. I'd probably say Copperberg, though. Although my brother did get me to try Old Moot, which is very, very nice. They've got pineapple cider, and oh, it's a joy to drink. Responsibly, of course. <laughs> Health disclosure. Plastic is recyclable, is it now? No flip flopping, Bungle collects. Oh, Bungle's switching to Team Tower. Seriously, he's, he's having us on, surely. Surely he's having us on. But you are more than welcome. As self appointed team captain of Team Tower, you are more than welcome aboard. There's our first Bonjamin Binney. Can you believe it? First one. We've only got two bags left. Holy Toledo. Quick, panic. Keep all of your Benjamin Bunnies. They might be becoming rare. <laughs> what coin's my favourite? Um, 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 Frankenstein £2 coin. I completely had a mind blank there. Team GB. Uh, we've already found a Team GB, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Couldn't see for looking. Lions or tigers? Uh, we'll say tigers. <coughs> Julian is uh, Team Paddington. There we go. Way, yay, 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 yay. Bungle has joined the force. Any two bags left? It's okay, we've got loads of bags still to go. We've got two pound coins after this bag, another bag of 10 peas, and another bag of 50 peas. We are not even halfway yet there yet. Uh, 
Uh, Great Fire of London, two pound, or Mary Rose. Uh, I like the Great Fire of London a bit better. It's such a stunning design. It's a coin I would love to see as a strike your own. Right, last bag of 50 piece for this bag then. Paddington at the Vegan Cafe. Bungle is a defector. <laughs> Lady M isn't defecting. That's right. Don't you worry, Bungle. You are more than welcome on our team. We'll get Lady M over later. She'll be persuaded. Don't you worry. The phone boxes still exist. Uh, yeah. Another Commonwealth Games. There we go. Ah, oh, Bungle's still Team Cathedral. Unbelievable. Lady M's had words. Lady M's had words. And he's he's now redefected. Another Peter Rabbit. That's right, Bungle. I know secretly you want to be Team uh, Tower. We've got another UK's entry to the EEC. Holy moly, we're having a very good uh, hunt, aren't we? We're getting lots of good coins. Can you believe it? That was the last bag. Well, that is a success. That is seriously successful. Three Olympics. Not quite coin cover standards, but definitely not worth grum grumbling about. Any of them new? I can never remember. Me and my memory. Athletics, football, triathlon. No, unfortunately not. But that's fine. We had some very, very good luck. Oh, no, don't do that. These are all just going off to the side. Racking them up over there. Only one Benjamin Bunny. Only one Benjamin Bunny. How odd is that? Normally we get them by the bucket load. Not tonight, though. Imagine a Fire of London £2 coin silver proof. I know, it's on my list. It's on my list of ones that I want to get. Someday, if there's a Brexit coin, I will burn it. So, will you know? <laughs> Well, there's going to be one, if it all happens, obviously. Um, I will believe it when I see it. Two pound coins next? Yes. Two pound coins next. Little health warning, I vape. You shouldn't vape. Don't vape, it's bad for you. I'm a hopeless addict. Don't be like me. But have a go at me for it. And yes, Bungle, I, I vape. <laughs> I've also lost the little, if that, I dropped my vape yet, um, this morning and the little uh, toppy top bit fell off. So I am without it at the moment. Yes, Katie. Yes, Bungle. This should not be news. New flavour, it is Crystal Mist. M-I-S-T. Uh, Chris, did you get your mug from Wilco's? I don't know, I've had it years. I can't, I, can't, I have no idea where I got it from. Julian is a Pepsi Max addict. Really? I've never been a fan of Pepsi. When they say that um, Pepsi is better than um, Duda, Coca-Cola, I think not. I think not. Coinpig gave up when he was eight. Wow, we. Uh, would you like some mugs made up with your name on it? I did actually look at doing that <laughs> uh, on um, Teesprings. And I did have it for a time, but maybe it's something I need to revisit. Do not vape, everyone. Exactly. Do as I say, not as I do. Right, I wash my hands off the £2 coins, because there's not many £2 coins to get through. So, £2. Halfway through this will be the halfway mark. We are missing Scotland Commonwealth Games. We are missing... Nothing on this page. We've got a whole page there. And we've got a slot for the World War One Navy Centenary Flag Era, which is a variant. And Shakespeare's Comedies, which I'm now no longer worried about finding on the live streams, because we've got it for the YouTube books. Which is very good. Still got the burnt cowpaw flavour. No, I used all that up. Team Cherry Coke. Oh, I like cherry I do like Cherry Coke. It's very, very nice. Not going to admit I found a Commonwealth Games Wales whilst I was streaming two hours ago. <gasps> Coin pick, unbelievable. Uh, this is me when someone vapes or smokes. 
Well, unfortunately, some of us are hopeless addicts. Raspberry Pepsi. Ooh. Favorite Haribo? I quite like um, the Tang Plastic, but I can't eat too many of them. But I like Coca Cola bottles are good as well. Hit the like button. Thank you very much, Steve Ufton. So, two pounds because we don't want technologies, but anything else is a find. We've got the wireless transmissions there. That's a common one. But it is nice to get a variety. We want World War One flag variant now. Exactly. Hello, Georgie. The Chubby Cheddar likes my shirt. Thank you very much. It's one of my favourite shirts, to be fair. It was my lucky shirt. When Patrick and I used to play Pokemon Go, this is my shirt of choice. For the good luck. Menthol or licorice are my go-to flavours. I'm not sure about licorice, but menthol is good. Uh, C. Gooding has been vaping for two months. Don't make friends with drug addicts. Holy Toledo. Uh, Trinity House there. One of my favourite designs. Very cool design. A common one, though. Georgie is dying your hair. Ooh, what what colour are you dying your hair? Do I prefer cats or dogs? Uh, I'm a cat person. I'm one of those people. They're just a little bit more um, independent, aren't they? Watching the snooker final at the same time. See, snooker is a sport that's oddly hypnotic, isn't it? Should we see if we can spot anything on the edges of these? See if we can spot anything on the edges of these. I think we've just got standing on the shoulders of giants. I think these are all just standing on the shoulders of giants. I didn't spot anything, at least. There we go. My potato says, hi Chris, watching from Cumbria. Very cool. Do I watch the Formula One? I used to watch it a bit, but it just became the Lewis Hamilton show. Took a bit of the fun out of it, to be fair. I haven't watched it for many years, though. Where's everyone else watching from, then? Hoping to quit soon, because you're starting to skate. Well, good luck to you and your quit and quitting. I wish I could, but I can't. Uh, Brody's watching from London. No error would be worth anywhere near that amount. Okay. Uh, Indian or Chinese? Ooh, either or. I'm not fussy. Orkney? Uh, Sunderland, West London. Uh, Staffordshire? Queens UK watching from the living room. Very good. <laughs> Russia? Aberdeen? Stoke-on-Trent? Barnsley? Korea? Holy moly. Kitchen? <laughs> Coin cupboard is in the kitchen. Uh, Durham, Devon, Exeter, West Yorkshire. Cheltenham? Sofa? <laughs> okay, some good answers here. Durham, Cambridge, Northampton, Russia again, uh, the sofa again, uh, West London, Korea, Frankfurt, Teesside, Scotland, Doncaster, Manchester, Scotland, uh, uh, Burton on Trent, Todd Morden, uh, Mask by Sea, uh, Uranus, uh, Leeds, Angola, Paddy and Jen. Oh, hi, Paddy and Jen. No, you're not watching from Paddy and Jen. <laughs> Serbia, Isle of Wight, Sunderland. Uh, Earth, Scotland, Bedford, Bridgend, Bed, Uganda, Sheffield, Suffolk, Hospital. Well, I hope you're feeling better soon. Uh, Angola, Leicester, Alec... Oh, I know you almost got me there. Very good. Uh, over on Twitch, we're watching We're watching from uh, Nottingham, Burton on Trent, Lynn Mills is at home, uh, Nottingley, Yorkshire, Texas. Ooh, Texas. It's quite exotic. London, uh, Todd Morden, West Yorkshire. Uh, hello, Przewski. I apologise, I can't pronounce your name. Uh, Cleveland, UK. Uh, Underground Bunker, says Hydro's Pelican. Birmingham, Plymouth. Harrison Orr is in Basingstoke. Same as me. You, you spelt Amazingstoke wrong, though. <laughs> South End, Serbia. South Shield, Durham. Uh, I call Mr. Boris Johnson. Oh, very funny. Very good. Anyway, moving swiftly on. We found Diddly Squat in that bag. Third rock from the sun. If someone offered you 10 Q Gardens to stop vaping, would you quit? Uh, no. Brighton Hill. Okay, that's not far from me. Hello, nice to put a face to the voice. Hello. This is the face behind the hands. Dudley, West Midlands. Off-brand Wales. 
Why do I vape? Because I'm, addic I'm addicted to nicotine, unfortunately. Uh, what's the based coin you found? Best coin I found? Uh, Q Gardens. That was also in the best hunt I've ever had, bar none. I found five or six, seven Olympics as well. A, um, a Duda, uh, Isaac Newton, and a Jemima Pondock. Had a bit of a fit there. <laughs> oh dear, well this is not going particularly well, is it? South Ham. He was listing <laughs> suburbs of basing steak. Uh, do you think they'll ever get rid of 1p and 2p's? Well, there's talk of it, but there's a bit of an outcry about it happening, so I imagine not, no time soon. Uh, I got the Isaac Newton 50p. It's a great coin. It is. It's my favourite 50p. Uh, what are you going to do with your coins when the Queen dies? Uh, nothing different. Who knows? The package of my fingers because my fingers are grubby. Uh, Konami Kuren says, I can't read that fast. It's a bit of a tro trouble, isn't it? There are messages flying in. Instead of vaping, play the recorder. I don't think that would have the same effect. I haven't done the math, but I don't believe one would negate the other. Janet Smith is a Yorkshire lass. You missed my stamp videos. No one watched the stamp videos. Nobody watched them. No one was interested. Um, do you think they will release a £20 plastic note? Yeah, comes out next month. It's a pretty cool design as well, purple. There we go, we got something. Holy Toledo. Uh, Charles Dickens, very common, but we'll take anything right now. Oh, we got something. We've got something. Is it going to be Britannia? Is it going to be Britannia? I think it's got to be, hasn't it? What else is 2015? Anything other than the Britannia? I'm racking my brains. Racking my brains. Hello, Robert Roberts. Uh, did you get your other package I sent you? Uh, I haven't opened anything from the peer box for a couple of weeks now. I've got a bit of a stash of stuff. Oh, it could be the Navy Centenary, could it? Okay. Let's have a look. Britannia. Very nice. 2015 is the lowest minted year of the Britannia, apart from the NAFCs, obviously. 2015, 2016, both very nice ones to find. Hopefully that signals the change in our luck for tonight's £2 coin hunt. What's it going to be? Who knows? Well, everyone knows now. But possibly not when you type that. Oh, it's one stamp video. The Iran stamps, I think. Yeah. Well, I think there wasn't really a marketplace for it. <laughs> I still collect stamps, I just don't make videos about them anymore. Have we found any Alpha 10Ps recently? They seem to disappear from circulation. We found the letter M earlier. I've got a bag of 10Ps to go through after this £2 hunt. Oldest coin that I've got, the very, very kind, uh, I don't know if he's in, this, in the chat at the moment, WWE Alonado sent me a little care package of coins because he only collects circulated ones and got his hands on a whole bunch of old ones and the and uh, this still the oldest coin in my collection is was from him it was a um 1707 uh queen Anne crown i've never had a coin older than that yet is a g10 pence rare uh, all the 10 pence are the same mintage and they're all pretty they're all rare I think it's quite it's uh, quite safe in describing them all as being rare. Uh, Woody UK has S and ten uh, S and ten S and T ten P. Very nice. Well, the wireless transmissions there again. Pop that with the other one we've already got. Uh, 
Uh, Harrison Orr's oldest coin is from 1091. Holy Toledo, that is old. Metal detect for older coins. Again, I've thought about it, but A, I don't have any equipment, and B, I wouldn't even know where to start. Um, really, you come out the bag. Wouldn't even know where to start. Julian's got to go. It's dinner time. Well, thank you for tuning in, Julian. Hope you have a nice dinner. Katie Jones' oldest coin is sixteen ninety nine. Wowie. Hello, Alexandra. Uh, Martin Ross got some Roman coins from around seventy BC. Wow. Uh, Stephen P is looking at my coin collection. Uh, is looking at his coin collection and watching me. Very cool. Uh, the oldest coin that C. Gooding has is a 1907 thing. I don't know what it's called, um, but I have a old house with a lot of old coins hidden in places. Very cool. Oh, Brunel's portrait. It's one we haven't had today. We are not finding much, though, are we, today? Holy moly, it's not doing good. Show me the Commonwealth. Exactly. Commonwealth Scotland we want, isn't it? One more game Scotland would be a good find. Hey, we got something. VE Day Anniversary, St Paul's, where the highest minted uh, Paddington is. <laughs> and the new 50Ps. Well, last year's 50Ps, they're not new anymore, are they, really? Hey, wireless transmissions again. Wireless transmission the third. Favourite movie, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi. A coin that I want to come out, um, oh, I don't know, um, of the ones that we've been, um, that we've seen, I would say the Mayflower £2 coin is the one I want out of all of them. What's my favourite food? I'm not fussy with food, to be fair. This is the last bag of £2 coins, though, I believe. It is. We've got another Charles Dickens there. In some old houses, carpenters used to hide a penny behind the skirting boards, did they? I see. Like a good luck charm then or something. We've got the abolition of the slave trade there. This has got textured finish on the inner part. You can find one that's got a smooth inner part. Um, that was only used for the collector sets. What did I have for breakfast? I don't eat breakfast. Uh, the last thing I want to do when I first wake up is eat food. Uh, what did you uh, I'll just answer that? Uh, do you know when the new coins go into circulation? No idea. Uh, Jamie Williams says, Return of the Jedi is my favourite Star Wars film, but not my first favourite. My favourite is the South Park movie. Uh, hello, watching you from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Question How many coins do you have in your collection? And what coin do you like the most? Even if you don't have it. A coin I like the most? Frankenstein two pound coin. How many coins have I got? Uh, tons. Absolutely tons. <laughs> I don't know the top of my head. Favourite Marvel movie? Um, I liked the Thor Ragnarok. Thor wasn't a character I really particularly liked, but um, they sort of hit that sort of... Uh, it was very good. Very sort of great music, great comedy. So I think that's probably one of my favourites. Are there value in year runs? There are some years that are low minted. Not in the £2 coins, other than the Britannias. 2015 and 2016, obviously. But um, in terms of date runs, not particularly. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go wash my hands because my hands are now horrifically filthy. So I should be back in a moment.
And we're back. What have I missed? Who's my favourite villain out of the Thor franchise? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while since I watched it, to be fair. Hello, beefy GTI boy. How's the hunt going? Pretty well. We found the letter M. 2015 Britannia, and we found three Olympics in the 50p hunt. Twilight Love Island? Nope. Any tips on coin collecting? Uh, tell everyone. Tell everyone that um, you're collecting. The more people that know, the more chance that you'll, they'll find something and give it to you. Favourite movie other than Star Wars? Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Very, very good. Do I like avocados? Not particularly. Christopher doesn't like Love Island. Christopher's never watched an episode of Love Island before, so I could potentially like it. r 2 d or C-3PO? Ah, oh, C-3PO. I've got Anthony Daniels' book. I got it for Christmas as well. I've got that to read at some point. Hello, Molly May. Thanks for tuning in. Hindu or Chinese? Uh, depends what mood I'm in. I like both, to be fair. Vape warning. Yes, don't vape. Uh, only I'm allowed to vape. No one else should be able to be allowed to vape. Chinese defo. Yeah, I do like Chinese. I like I do like Indian as well. I like pizza as well, but not only Toledo. Harrison or is hosting the stream again. Thank you very much. Trumpy Jenner wants to be like me when he's older. <laughs> Are you calling me old? <laughs> Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Um, can't read that. Casper, TBH, is now joined, has now joined the hunt on Twitch. Thank you very much. What kind of coffee do I drink? Uh, I'm not fussed. As long as it's caffeinated, not decaf. Who drinks decaf coffee? What's the point? Does Chris have hair? Yeah, I do. I'll show you. I had a haircut over the weekend as well. Here we go. Not bald. The fez is not hiding anything. Apart from this annoying tassely thing. Gets in the way. You're a girl, not a boy. Oh, my, my apologies. My apologies. Decapitated coffee. <laughs> I feel like that was a dig at me, ch chubby tater. <laughs> Uh, let's close this. This stupid pop-up comes up at the middle of the stream all the time. <coughs> Jumpy Cheddar likes the hat. Thank you very much. It's a lucky hat. Lucky Fez. Uh, better hit that like button. There we go. Better hit that like button. And that is coin cupboard telling you, not me. Do as he says. These coins are freezing again. What's going on? Caramel latte is nice. Mm, that's not nice, to be fair. Oh, what have we done with the bag? What am I doing? What a bozo. Professional streams from Christopher Collects, as ever. What am I doing? What am I doing? You got banned from Discord for annoying people, oh dear. Well. There you go. Does every coin have a rare one? Uh, there are rare coins in most denominations, yeah. Ooh, hang about. 2014 Gibraltarian. What's that going to be then? Why is this still coming up? I do not want to scan my computer. Bullseye or Snookaloopy? Oh, it's going to be Bullseye. What are those? <laughs> What's it going to be? Hello, coins to collect. Coins to collect, smash the like button. Thank you very, very much. A Barbary ape thinks Chalky Garden. The house is Harrison Orr. Bird, the partridge. Is there a pantomime collection? There is. Torch. Let's have a look. It's the partridge. Very nice. We've got something. It's not going to be a bust. Even if it's just a territory. Uh, 
would be a good coin for me to find. Let me show you. Let me get through these last two. I'll show you what exactly we're looking for in the 10 piece. So the 10 P's, every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially British on it in 2018 and 19. So that's B for Bond. My favourite F for Fish and Chips and G for Greenwich Mean Time. They are the ones ideally we're looking for. But if you find some territories along the way, I shan't grumble about that. Just looking under the face cam to see your name. Oh yeah, because the Discord chat comes up on the YouTube video, doesn't it? Have you got Frankenstein £2 coin? Yes, I've got the Bunk and the Silverproof. It's my favourite coin. Do you like the Alien franchise? Yeah, that's good. I didn't. I liked Alien vs Predator. I didn't like the second Alien vs Predator. It was a bit naff. But the new Aliens are pretty good as well. Do I like pineapple and pizza? Nope. You can keep your pineapple away from my pizza. In fact, you can keep your fruit in general away from my pizza. <laughs> Apart from tomatoes, obviously. That's like the go-to internet question, isn't it? I don't think I've had a live stream that hasn't come up. Did I time you on YouTube? I didn't know. I haven't got I haven't got a free hand to time anyone out on YouTube. Bungle needs a spanner revoked. What's Bungle said now? What's Bungle said now? You found an M for Lady M. Please find a B for Bungle, as we are the only channel with double spanner status. There we go. Um, Andy, does does Steve has a, have his own YouTube channel? Is there a Steve's Coin Closet official channel? Would you like to become a double spanner channel? <laughs> Just started collecting 50p's. Currently got Peter Rabbit, Benjamin Bunny, Offside Explained. Oh, nice. Glasgow Commonwealth Games, NHS, Dictionary Paddington at the Palace, People's Act, Royal Shields, and Sherlock Holmes. Wow, that's good going for just starting. We got some very nice ones there. To keep at it, that Kew Gardens could be just around the corner. Any cozy little corner. Kews are just around the corner when the luck is with you. Steve in the closet. What was the response? Did we get a coin cupboard response to that? Not yet. I think he does. There we go. Well, you let me know. You let me know, Andy. And we'll get that sorted. <laughs> Although I worry about um, Steve's... Um, um, it sounds mean to say his ability to moderate, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, under... Uh, supervision. Steve in Narnia. Bungle or Zippy? Oh, we can't. We can't say anything but Bungle, can we? We can't be mean. We won't be mean. Of course, it's Bungle. We need more Steve time. Exactly. Everyone loves Steve. Steve's my favourite coin tuber. We've got another partridge there. I was just checking. I didn't pick up the other partridge. Twenty fifteen. Two turtle doves. Am I vegan? No. But I have no problem with people being vegan. Not at all. You live your life how you want to lead it. Someone my f someone sent my friend Fig. Very good. Georgie is a vegetarian. Do you have any of the Winnie the Pooh 50p sets? Uh, that's the Coin Club, isn't it? Is it the Coin Club? Is it the Bradford Exchange? Uh, I got the first one from them, but I didn't collect the rest of the sets. It's not something that I'm massively into. But I did. I am, have been featuring, and will probably be featuring again this week, uh, the 50th anniversary of the Moon Landing, which has been an absolutely stunning set. With the... Um, the domed coin that looks like the surface of the moon. Very cool coin. And I've got one more coin. And then that set is complete. 
I've been very happy with it. There have been some stunning coins in that set. Beautiful colours. Am I Tommy Cooper? Mm, no. Picking your favourite children. Ha ha ha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't me. I didn't do it. It wasn't Bungle, was it? <laughs> uh, bangers or mash? You can have them both. You can't have sausage and mash with, without the sausage or the mash. But iron my shirt yet. Yeah, thank you very much for reminding me coin covered. No, I've got ironing to do this evening. Which, as if you can't, if you can't tell, I'm thoroughly looking forward to doing. Spending three hours ironing a solitary shirt. <laughs> do you have the Wallace and Gromit 50p? Yes, I do. I've got the Strike Your Own, the Silver, and the Bunk. Very cool coin. The Strike Your Own packaging as well it was superb. Who is in Basingstoke and wants to volunteer for some weekly ironing? <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be good? What time is it? It is uh, half past seven. Is it only half past seven? God, we are flying through these coins, aren't we? Someone came to my sister's work and spent five bunk Olympic 50p's. She took them straight home. Wow. Ooh. Marmite or peanut butter? Peanut butter. Estimated rarity of Wallace and Gromit. Uh, well, they weren't released into circulation. So... You won't be finding one in your change unless someone busts them out of their set and pays them into circulation. But they were selling for £10 a pop in the punk set, so I imagine they'd be worth more than that. Especially when they stop selling them. I don't know if they... I'm sure they are still selling them. We yeah, missed that one. It's not going to be anything, but just to be sure. Just to be doubly sure. Uh, Christopher Tatchell says, Hi, dude. Love the videos. Uh, South Wales. Awesome. Thank you very much. What is going on on Twitch? We've got a lot of dog emojis appearing. The videos are very entertaining. Thank you very much, Chubby Cheddar. There we go. Amber will get you all in line. <laughs> Do I like orange juice? Yeah. Georgie's off now. Well, thank you for tuning in, Georgie. Have a great rest of your evening. Way, come back. That's right, it's just a line. Nothing worth writing home about, unfortunately. The bag is looking letterless. <laughs> Robert Roberts found a coin from Katanga. Katanga. What's that? Cook Islands. Mmm, that's a first. Twenty fifteen Cook Islands. 
Hmm. What's it going to be? I'm looking for coin cover because coin cover ten, tends to find the um, the odd ten peas. Let's have a look. Oh, very nice. Fifty cents with a big fish on it. How cool is that? Coinbig says it's a coin. <laughs> very good, Coinbig. That's a lovely one. I've never found one of them before. Well, that's a first. What a stunner. Cook the fish. <laughs> this is F for fish and chips prior to it being um, battered. A plum find, says Bungle. Or a plum find, as Bungle might say. <laughs> plum? Is that how you say it? I don't know. That's a 2018. We got one. We got one. Woohoo. What's it going to be? What is it going to be? I'm going to have a bit of a drink. Whilst you guys guess what it's going to be. Cucumber finder with tuna. There we go. Uh, P O W I Z L L B L I C B P Q L O Z P C J T U F B F D A B B B B B B B P M D T G O O S M B S L T Q. Lots of people guessing. Lots of people guessing. I think we must have had every letter of the alphabet. It is. F for fish and chips. I just said that, didn't I? We had the fish, and now we got the fish and chips. How bizarre is that? How bizarre is that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Two fish in one bag, exactly. V for vinegar next. There we go, see? Animal day. Now see for chips. Yeah. Dinner sorted. Holy Toledo. Miracle of the fishes. Camille Collects has just joined the hunt. Thank you very much. Over on Twitch. Ice cream for dessert, yeah, definitely. We've had the f we had the fish, we've had fish and chips. Need a pudding now. Need a pudding now. <coughs> Do I still have Christopher collects tokens for sale? Well, funny you should ask that. Uh, coins to uh, coin cupboard, coins to collect, coin cupboard. I don't know what your name is. The Christopher Clex Holy Toledo token is available at ChristopherClex.co.uk. That's number 108. It's just a random one I've grabbed. So if you would like one, they're available over on my website. And they get sent out with some cool old stamps as well. So if you're into stamps, there's another incentive for you. Right then, Welsh coins, you can behave. Otherwise you're gonna have a footprint on your backside. Has Deb got hers yet? No comment. Deb is, is here to neither acknowledge or deny. To be fair, I did send one to Deb's, but the postman had it out of the, out of the um, envelope. Oh dear. I'm having a, a coins to collect moment. What have we found so far? We found F for fish and chips. We found a 50 cents from the Cook Islands, which is kind of neat. I've never found one of them before. And two partridges in a pear tree. Ooh, whoops. Sticky toffee pudding, that's not a bad idea. 
Not with custard though, I'm not a massive fan of custard. Arctic roll, there we go. Kitchen has number 64 of the Christopher Clark's tokens. When's the next P.O. Box video? Possibly Thursday. Probably Thursday. Uh, what's the best 10p? I think we've got the same mintage. Christopher Clex, when will you be following other YouTubes appearing on Strictly Come Dancing? Um, oh well, when I can ride my pet pig through the skies to the BBC recording studios, I would consider it. Rhubarb and custard. Mm. Not my favourite, I must admit. The Cook Island fish is a tuna, apparently. There we go. Oops. Green jellyfish. Send Salah for pig. I want to see you pass her doble. <laughs> Isn't going to happen. Isn't going to happen. Uh, Saint Funny is type 1 diabetic. This is killing you. Oh dear. There you go. You've been timed out. Will you stop spamming emojis? Uh, Christopher, any good finds yet? We found F Fish and Chips. We found a Cook Island 50 cents, which I've um, been informed is a tuna fish. Which is very cool. Twitch chat for a moment there. Uh, Angel Delight, yeah, Angel Delight's good. I thought I saw something there. Obviously not, obviously not. Whoopsie. 2016. Are there any coins with sheep on them? Uh, the Lockton Ram is the closest I can think. Anyone else know of a coin with sheep on him? How about Viennetta? Viennetta's nice. Banoffee pie, I'm not a massive fan of. I'm not a massive fan of banana flavoured things, to be fair. Uh, rest Retro Nought Cap is called Roger. Marmite or Vegemite? Uh, if I had to, I've never tried Vegemite, so I'd give that a crack because I know I don't like Marmite. Uh, 
how many people can go on the Royal Mint tour at once? Uh, I think the tours, there's about 20 to 30 people that can go on a tour. So if you do want to come down to the Royal Mint tour, dates have been, uh, has been announced. Ooh, there we go. Why? Why for Yeoman Warder? Very nice. <coughs> <coughs> Lovely stuff. What, what, what uh, letter? What year is that? 2018. Lovely. Holy Toledo. Well, we found F and Y now. Obviously, that was the Yeoman Warders dinner, wasn't it? That fish, that fish and chips. Hola, Kurt. Chris, please answer Chubby Cheddar so he stops asking about my cat. What about my cat? Can you see my cat? No, he's not here. The cat has a mind of its own. Hobnobs or Rich Tea Biscuits? Oh, it's going to be Hobnobs. It's going to be Hobnobs. Why can I never find why? Why, why indeed? Why, that's a nice coin. Very good. See Gooding, your timeout has expired, has it? Well, you better best behave. You've got to change that music. Should we have a referendum on it? What do we think? Should I change the music on the YouTube videos? Should I change the music on the YouTube videos? Because in my mind, that tune has kind of become synonymous with my videos now. And I quite like the track as well. Alex London says yes. Amber says no. We're getting lots of no's. We're getting lots and lots of no's. You missed an Austrian one girl. We're getting lots of your nose. We're getting lots of nose. Keep the music. Hit the backing track. Nat King Cole, L O V E. Can't do that. It's copyright. Copyrighted, unfortunately. It'd be a great track to have, though. Things for special events like giveaways, maybe. I love that Darth Airport music. Whenever I hear it, I say, oh, that's Christopher's theme. Well, I think the people have spoken. The people want the music to stay as it is. There we go. The people have spoken. The thing is, the music is quite uh, quiet. It's not massively loud. We've got four bags left. Get a record and do your own. Goodness gracious, could you imagine that? Could you imagine that? That'd be dreadful. Rubbish. Don't change what works. There we go. Talking about music. Anyone has a guitar, then record a tune and send it to Christopher. Girl from Ipanema. That's a good song. Tall and tan, young and lovely. The girl from Ipanema came walking. When I hear that music, I think I'm at the airport. <laughs> Drum and bass. That's not going to happen. Not going to happen on my channel, I'm afraid. Far too modern for me. Have I ever thought of an intro? I have thought about it. The thing is, um, I don't really want an intro because even if it's just a two second introduction, every time you click on one of my videos, you're watching the same two second introduction. I think people would much rather just get on and into the hunt. Quimpy has got the bagging drum and bass tunes. P 
Pink Floyd money. Intros don't have to be the same. Oh, but that's another thing. Having to do a new intro for every video. I don't. I've, you, I, I, um, the YouTube channel already takes up a whole bunch of my time. If I was then trying to get unique introductions to every video. Wait, where are you going? Get back in my hand. There we go. Jumping coins. Uh, Chris, I think you broke my YouTube when you timed me out. I didn't time you out on YouTube. I timed you out on Twitch because you were being a bit of a pain in the backside. Money, money, money. Oh, you're never going to get ABBA music on my videos, that's for sure. <laughs> There's one band that doesn't stand out. Hope in hell of being featured in a video. It is ABBA. What other coin-related songs can we think of? Pennies from Heaven? Ola Nationwide Coin Hunt. My boss at work has just inherited thousands of stamps and doesn't know where to start. Wow. Very cool. Penny Lane, that's a good one. Money for Nothing, another good one. The Peppa Pig theme tune. Okay. I think I have to disagree. Pink Floyd Money, 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 ABBA. It's raining money. Talks. Smack my Bitcoin up. <laughs> Very good. <coughs> Flying lizards, I want your money. Pink Floyd money. Two dollar bill. Hey, big spender. That's a good one. Dirty cash. Penny arcade. Pretty penny. Money for nothing. Gold digger. In for a penny per pound. Holler for a dollar. Dollar dollar. No one suggested all I want for Christmas is Q. I thought all ancient history now. <laughs> Feed the birds, tuppence a bag. Is that Mary Poppins? This is the last, ooh, the last 10p bag. And we found something. We have found something. I'm rocking mine. All I want for Christmas is Q right now, says Amber. Too early for Christmas. <laughs> too early or too late? Lady M says B I E D G A X T D S I H B F K L U C D I Q A I P. Uh, what are we saying over on Twitch? We're saying O S X W Z E P W uh, G Y F K S H G E A S I X M I U N A F C I F R I O. It's a fake. <laughs> Let's have a look. What have we got? We have got B for Bond. There we go. Bungle called it. We've got B for Bungle. Bungo, your, th your, your intro to your video should definitely be you walking along and then just like, pew, and do, 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 do. We should need to make that happen at the mint. <laughs> B for Bond, what a stunner. Lovely. Well, we found three. Three. Unbelievable. That doesn't happen often. Uh, 
And we're done, Zoe. Were these all 2018s? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything new for the book? I reckon. Oh no, we've already got B. What? 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 We've already got F. Y is a new one, though. Move these out of the way a moment. We can get Y. Into book. Into book. There we go. New one for the book. For Star Pools. And the, the Cook Islands one, obviously. That's a pretty stunning coin. Lovely stuff. Right, I think we can just get straight into the last bag of 50 keys. Fifty P's, last bag. Oh, lead to leader. Q Q Q. Facebook found. Why is the C the only ten P from the Royal Mint in packaging? Oh, you can get them all in the little uh, early strike packaging. But there's a last bag for the for the um, live stream. Can you bid one pound eleven for the Q? No. <laughs> Tune in uh, Sunday mornings with Bungle. Ten o'clock. 10 o'clock on a Sunday with Bungle. Holy Frederick Mercury has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Amazing. Thank you. A new to show up. That would be good, Master Temple. That would be good. Ever thought of using antibacterial spray gel to clean your hands? Uh, during these hunts. No, I just go wash my hands in the sink. It's fine. What flavour? It is Crystal Mist. M-I-S-T. Mist. OMG, you have a Queen member following you. I know. Unbelievable, right? Casey Jones isn't awake at 10am. Nor am I, to be fair, normally. But I do set the alarm specifically to try and get up to watch Bungle's stream. I think I missed last week, but I was there the week before. It was good fun, though. It's good fun. Your 10 piece came in little plastic bags. Yeah, some of them did. Like the, um... You saw Queen in 1978. What tour would that have been? 78. It's not Live on Fire. It would be prior to that, wouldn't it? 78. Hmm. I don't know what the 1978 tour was. It'll be after the Earl's Court one, wouldn't it? A Japan. Oh, it was the Japan tour. Very cool. Going on here. I've not cut this bag very well. The bag's only half cut. Saw Queen in 1986. That'd be the magic tour. That's the tour my dad saw. And my mum, to be fair. My mum saw them at Wembley. Not the, not, not the day that was recorded. And my dad saw them live at Nebworth, Nebworth Park. Their last ever live concert. So I'm very, very jealous of. You see Queen every day on the back of your coins. Very true. You met Prince Charles three times. Oh, cool. I saw Queen and Paul Rogers live on the Cosmos Rocks tour. It was very cool. Unbelievably good. Oh, what am I doing? I've lost my rhythm here. We've got our first Paddington. Paddington at the Palace. There we go. Prince Charles is very small, is he? Never saw Queen, much to your sorrow. Saw Jacko and Prince twice, very cool. Uh, Jazz was 1978. Hmm. Not the best album, I must say. I don't think what was on the Jazz album that was good. 
around that. Was it was that just prior to Hot Space, wasn't it? Or just after Hot Space? Which everyone pans, but I love the Hot Space album, especially the live tour, that was great. So Jazz would be the one prior to it, wouldn't it? Because Hot Space Tour was uh early-ish eighties. Ironside there? Your mum saw Queen and Michael Jackson. Wow, very cool. I had a work colleague that was there at Live Aid. That would have been awesome. Another work colleague that was there at the Freddie Mercury Tribute Concert, which again, would have been pretty phenomenal. I wonder if Prince Charles will have an ear error on his coin when he's king. Oh dear. We have got Battle of Britain. Could it be the IRB? Could it be the IRB? What do you think of the theory that St Paul and the Tower Paddies have the same mintage? I think you'll get splinters if you sit on that fence too long. <laughs> you need to pick a side. And you want to pick the winning side. Team Tower. We have got JC. Unfortunately, not the IRB we are looking for. I seem to have shifted myself a bit and I'm a bit... I'm at an odd angle. <laughs> yes, Bungle. Jodie Clark is a man. <laughs> but in case anyone hasn't hasn't heard already from Bungle, Jodie Clark is a man. Uh, Peter Rabbit from 2017. Peter Rabbit again from 2017. IRB, IRB, Ironside, IRB. What am I on about? What am I on about? Uh, you saw George Formby live. Wow. Uh, Darren Cheshire would like the, to find the offside rule 50p. It's proven very hard to find. Yeah. Have a chat with Bungle about that. <laughs> like you, I have sealed bags of St. Paul's. I think it's far too close to cool. And mintage around 8 million of each. Well, Tower's going to win. Tower is going to win. Three in a row. <laughs> I didn't check. We didn't, didn't say if we could make it four, did we? So Ariana Grande. Wow. I haven't been to a live concert for ages. I just tell a lie. A couple of years ago, I, the last time I went to see music live was a David Bowie tribute act. He looked nothing like David Bowie, but he was a very, very good singer. It was a great show. Ow. Crash bang wallet. How much to limit gold ball 50p worth? Uh, they tend to be about £1.50 to upwards of about £3 for the more common of the Olympics. It depends on the day. If you get the right people that need it, you can get a bidding war on it. we got Mr. Tittermouse again. Second one of the live stream. Holy Toledo. Very, very cool. Shan't complain about that. Don't eat after this. Your food going to taste of metal. Don't worry, I wash. I do wash my hands. Pet shout out time. Go on then. Who's got a pet that wants a shout out? Tony Beckett's for CBB's live. Amazing. Oh, we've got Sherlock. Sherlock Holmes. There's Sherlock there. Colin the corn snake. Elvis the dog. Uh, Snacks the lurcher puppy. Sir Poochington from Lady M. Scrappy the dog. Uh, Cat Werther, who watched every week's stream. There we go. Uh, my cat, your cat, Millie. Gordy the turtle. Denise, Denise, you're trying to catch me out. Olive the chinchilla. You got a shout out last time. Biggie the spider. Big Viv the chicken. Three cats, two fish, two chickens, and three children. <laughs> I love how you beat children that list. Star the cat, Rhea the uh, parrot, Poppy and Boogie. Uh, 
I saw something. Darren Cole says, yeah, Dylan, my African grey. Loves your videos, but I think he likes the shiny coins. There we go. Uh, Ali the cat. Pepper the guinea pig. Rosie the sheep. Lucy the dog. Uh, Basil the dog. Very good. Very good, Freddie Mercury. You're not going to get me to say that. Master has a koi carp. With a triangular shaped head, I've nicknamed him Wedge. <laughs> oh dear. Woody the Woodlouse. Tom and Jerry. Colin the Stick Insect. Sleepy the. Oh, oh, the... oh you're saying your dog is sleepy, I see. Minsky the Cat. Jorg the Numismatist. I always struggle saying that. Buddy the Dog. Chris the Cat. My cat likes watching YouTube on my iPad. And nothing on the TV, though. Louis the dog. What, what's all the pets? Oh, we're doing pet shout-outs. Godzilla the goose. Nala, tell the Nala the cat to stop biting. Nala the cat, cut it out. Google, goggle the fish. Mac and Jasper the cats. Cat with hat. Mousy the hamster. Don't forget your grey hand. I can't, I'll never forget your grey hand, Matt. Don't you worry. John the dead mouse. Gosh. Pig, pig the pigeon. Very good. Just for that. You're getting a timeout. If I can get the right button. Ah! Put user in timeout. There you go. Well done. Uh, Squeak the duck. Snowy my other dog loves your videos. So does Buddy. Slinky the snake. Patch the dog. He definitely said chinchilla. Chinchilla. Choo choo the chupacabra. My wife. Uh, wife, kids, dog, gone missing. Reward for dog. <laughs> Easy the Persian cat, over the cat. Uh, can I have a timeout? You don't need a timeout. Pudge, your pigeon. Mr. Skinny Legs, the spider. Sean, the sheep. Uh, puppy, golden retriever. Freddy, who is next to me. And if you say his name, he will smile. Uh, there we go. Right, I think there's enough pets. We've got people act. And there we go, Paddington at the palace. Bungle, bungle, bungle. It's time to give up. Benjamin Binny. We only had one of him in the last bag. What's going on? Where are the Benjamin Bunnies gone? Coin cupboard's got them all. That's what happened to them. <laughs> See, Bungle. Every time we see a cathedral, it's music to my eyes. Sam the slithery, spooky, scary skeleton who shivers down your spine. There we go. Christopher, ask Andy if he will melt all his bunnies down. Coin cup, but what's going on with the, what's the plan with the bunnies then? Are you going to melt them all down? Ooh! Ooh! We got something. We got something. Houston, we have an Olympic. Or a shield. Either or. I shan't complain. Not for long. Think it'll be cash in time for the bunnies. There we go. Have you updated your new mister? <laughs> Very good, Denise. Hockey, football, fencing, Olympic. Wrestling, maybe. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Tennis. Sailing, curling, rowing, volleyball, basketball, archery, wrestling, boxing, cycling, boxing, tennis, tennis, wrestling, stabby stick, lady chasing the loo roll. What? Which one's lady chasing the loo roll? Equestrian, another netball game, boxing, shield. Oh, almost, you just got me there, James. Shooting, shooting, volleyball, archery, boxing, triathlon, wrestling. Let's have a look. It's athletics. Very nice. He's got something under his leg, though. A little bit of something. Obviously had to uh, drop something to get a little bit of a height mid-jump. Oh, gymnastics is the loo roll. I see. I see. There we go. Hang on. How's, he, how's that Paddington got down there? Amazing. We got an Olympic. We got an Olympic. <laughs> I 
2009 version is ultra rare. It is indeed. I've never found one of them either. Sam says, si uh, hello, sorry, I'm a bit late. No worries at all. Pick a letter. Seven. <laughs> Chasing the new role is gymnastics. I see. Oh, oh, we got one. We've got a Newton. Unbelievable. How cool is that? I might well have to find one of them. It's been ages since we last found a Newton. What a stunner. Now there is a plum find. There is a plum find. Lovely stuff. That Newton has been a long time coming, to be fair. What year is the Newton? 2017. Die Clash. Oh, I can never spot these things. Uh... It looks clear to me. Generally, the ones with errors, if I'm keeping them anyway, I don't really check for them because I know I'm going to keep them regardless. So the Newtons, the Chris Packet error on the Paddingtons. Very good, Ashley Sparrowhawk. You will not get me to say that word. Wait, stop. What? What, 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 what? what are we stopping for? That was 2008 Britannia. Oh, sorry. I will look through them at the end. Don't you worry. I'll be on Discord, on the voice chats. If you're over 13, you can come along and join Discord. It's like a big voice chat. You can have a chat with myself and the usual suspects that are normally there. Have a Sunday evening. What was it 2008? Oh, fine. We'll go. For, well, there's one time only. I'll go back and have a look. Give me one moment. I feel like I'm on a wild goose chase here. I feel like I'm on a wild goose chase there. No, no 2008s. You're imagining it. Do I have TikTok? I do not. I don't even know what I would do on TikTok. Ah. Uh, Oh dear, what's going on here? What's going on here? It's fine. Right, well, we didn't find anything. We didn't find anything. Could have been like a 2006, because we're whizzing past them at quite a rate of knots. Semolina or tapioca? Mm, semolina, I think. Although I do like both of them, so. Do I have Facebook? I do. I'm Christopher Glex on Facebook. What did you miss? We found Olympic Athletics and Isaac Newton. And a Mrs. Tittlemouse as well. Benjamin Bunny the second for this hunt. That's our third one tonight. What's the Chris Packet error? Uh, I don't have any Paddingtons at the, at the Palace to show you. It's just a little bit of a cud error. It looks like Paddington's dropped a Chris Packet. Oh, Bungle, your favourite coin there. <laughs> I feel like I've been roasting Bungle most of this live stream. But he was enjoying um, roasting Team Tower on his live stream, so I feel it's only fair. I feel it's only fair. Commonwealth Games there. Another common one.
Whoopsie. What year is that? Oh, 2004. Pungo needs roasting. <laughs> We've got Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Which is pretty cool. Can you add Neon Facebook? If you, if you add me as a friend on Facebook, I generally will accept the, accept you. Is there a limit to how many friends you can have on Facebook? I don't know. Sending pung bungles and plums. It's only cut if it's cut. Oh, I don't know what the difference is then. Errors are not my area of expertise, I must admit. It's just like a little extra bit of metal. That's what I thought a cut error was. I could be wrong. It has happened before. Not with vintage figures, obviously, but... Um... Oh, there we go. 2018's Peter Rabbit. A stunner to find. Obviously not Flopsy Bunny. That is the um, alphabetically the rarest 2018 Beatrix Potter, so the chance of finding that are very, very slim. But to find a Peter Rabbit is a pretty good um, second choice. Lovely stuff. I'm just waiting to see the... Um... Team, Team Peter Rabbit backlash. We've got Peter Rabbit from 2017. Uh, Camille Collect says, you're still streaming. Yes, we're coming to the end. Run the last big bag of 50p's. We're probably about halfway through them now. My little towers of coins are not holding up very well. I haven't found a Peter Rabbit in years. I heard you need a cocktail stick to be an expert in errors. Exactly, exactly. Third rarest after Q and Flopsy. There we go. We've got Mr. Tiggy Winkle again. Oops. Oh. Sending things flying. This is not going well. well I see a bit of something there. I see a bit of something there. Of course. It had to be. Of course, it had to be. Now, come on. It's, it's, it's time for those of you that are team, team Cathedral to give up and just, just, just announce us as the winner. Team Tower. Team Tower. Please say hi to me. Hello to you. Uh, doing my hunt video today of 50 peas as well to get some good ones this year. Started good for me at least. Very nice. <laughs> this is embarrassing. See Bungle, there's time to, there is still time to defect. There's still time to defect. Which is a fighter. The cat is a fighter. The cat is partially, is quite psychotic really. We've got Christopher Ironside there. There's three of them today. Well in this bag. Please say hi to him. Hi to him. Let's not forget they are both the same. No confusing other people. Huh? What's the same? Turnip or parsnip? Uh, parsnips. The bungle do not defect. Can you say that to Bungle? I said, I said Team Towers is going to kick his butt. Stick with Cathedral. You'll be laughing in the end. No, you will not. No, you will not. Isn't going to happen. Uh, Nick's coins and banknotes is what have you missed? Uh, we found an Isaac Newton. First one in a long, long time. We found Olympic Athletics. 2018's Peter Rabbit. Whoops, crash bang wallop. Um, we found three Olympics in the first bag of 50 Ps. Tennis, table tennis and badminton. Two pounds we found a 2015 Britannia. 10 Ps we found quite a few, didn't we? I can't remember which ones it were. B, Y, Oh, 2017 shield. That's a keeper. 
one less to find when I'm going through them. Lots of towers down south, lots of contenders up north. What? Do you mean cathedral up north? Orange or apple juice? Apple juice. There's Paddington at the uh, station. Very cool. Pop him with the one at the palace. Oh, what's going on? Two Newtons. Holy Toledo. What's going on? Can you believe it? To find two in the hunt is pretty bonkers. This is the Isaac Newton bus route. <laughs> Unbelievable. Very, very cool, isn't it? Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Followed by Taylor of Gloucester, which is still a very nice one as well. So we're just missing, alphabetically speaking, the rarest uh, 2018 Beatrix Potter, Flopsy Bunny. We've got maybe six bags left. <laughs> Olivia Newton-John, double Newtons. Well, this 50p... These 50 bags have been very generous to us tonight. The coin gods are smiling on us. There's another Sherlock. Victoria across the medals. That's a common one. What's after this bag? After this bag, it's game over. The show's over. We've got about five other little bags to get through, and then we're done for the night. Sherlock the second. Or Sherlock the third, even. We've already, we already found one earlier. And there he is. A joy to behold. You don't see it too often. Paddington at the tower. We've got all four Paddingtons now. <laughs> My bank stops giving me bags of coins five years ago. I really miss filtering coins. Can you tell a coin is different by its weight? Possibly. I can't, though. This, it would be too minuscule of a difference in the weight I would imagine if there even is a change in the weight depending on the design what bag is after this there's no bags left after this bag this is the last big bag to get through I will be over on discord though on the voice chat if you're over 13 you can come and join discord there's another dictionary first of this bag but we found one earlier today there's another Paddington at the tower as I said, nice to see. Don't see it too often. Are 20 to 20 coins in circulation yet? Not that I'm aware of. No one's told me they found any. Here we go. Paddington at the palace. Has he got the Chris Bracket error? I don't think so. Can't see it. It doesn't look like it. It's around there somewhere, isn't it? It doesn't look like it. I could be wrong there. I keep all my Paddingtons at the palace anyway, so... If I have ones with areas on them, I've still got them. There we go. A bunch of the moderators are posting links to the Discord server. Uh, World War II history buff says, Give a shout out to my friend Ella. Hello to your friend Ella. Ella. Way. No error about your first one. Did. did it really? Let's have a look. Can we do a side by side? Oh yeah. So you can see I need a pointer of some description. What can I use as a pointer? Let's go for I'll just use a pen. That'll do for now. So is it there, that little blob? Is that the blob we're talking about? 
Try to spot the difference. There we go. That is Dan Temple's Chris Beckett error. So those of you that are wondering what it is, that was it. There we go, Paddington at the Cathedral. Add it to the mountain of cathedrals that we've found today. Where? <clears throat> Send that boy a stick. <laughs> How's my Audi TT? I don't have an Audi TT. That's only 15. I thought it was a 16 for a moment there. Oh, we've got another iron side there. Very cool. People Act. People Act's a common one. BMW Z3. Z4. That's what I got when my poor little Ford Focus got sent, in, sent to the motorways in the skies. DCC Games. I remember you. I do remember you, yes. Oh, there we go. Olympic number two. Unbelievable. Olympic number five of this live stream though. Wowie. Can you believe it? Five Olympics and two Newtons. What is going on today? Very, very cool. Didn't even twig that that was canoeing to begin with. I was like, what's that? Another passenger to the cathedral. And we've got Team GB. Uh, we don't have, already have Team GB up here. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, hi, I've stumbled across a coin that I've seen no one else talk about. I have a shield piece with no writing text at all on the coin. Wondering if you knew a price. Uh, the best bet is send a picture to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and I'll have a look. If you're on Discord, pop it there. You'll have a whole bunch of people have a look. I'm a bit slow to reply. I get lots of messages flying in, unfortunately. Uh, I have a feeling you may get a cue card as well. We've got two bags left to go. Two bags left to go. Oh dear, what's happened to that one? We very well might be able to pull a cue out of the bag. Wouldn't that be good? If I stopped knocking that file, that'd be even better. Nothing in that bag. Right, well, we are on to the last bag. Last bag of the stream. Only Toledo. Only Toledo. Twitch Geezer has joined the hunt. Thank you very much. Oh, here we go. Last Chance Saloon. Wow. For those of you that watched all the way through, for those of you watching Catch Up, for those of you that have just joined for a few moments, thank you very much. NHS there, that's a nice one. Hang about. That'll be something. Battle of Hastings. That's what, three Battle of Hastings we found today. Unbelievable stuff. Add a Paddington at St. Paul's. So that, that was what, three in a row? Three in a row. Can we make it four in a row? It's a 19. No, no, unfortunately not. But as ever, thank you very much for watching. It's been a, a, another fun-filled evening. Thank you very, very much. Another iron side. We've had some good luck as well, to be fair. Some really, really good luck. But for those of you that are going to be over on Discord, I'll see you in a moment. But that is all the coins gone through. 
Now, were either of those two Olympics new? I don't think so. Canoeing and athletics. Canoeing. Athletics is. Canoeing isn't. Well, there we go. We can tick athletics off. Let's get him in the book. We'll go in. There we go. A new one for the book. How cool is that? It's been a long time since I put a new 50p in the book. So there we go. We're just missing Pongo's favourite one from this page. Amazing stuff, though. Well, who have we got left over on Twitch before we raid someone? Let me just get the raid all set up. So the, um, the, the YouTube stream lasts a few minutes longer because we raid someone on Twitch. Uh, da, 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 da. Just setting that up now. So, who's still over on Twitch? We have got Freddie Mercury, Chalky Garden, Master Temple, Amber Wakeling, Box Coins, Lynn Mills. I have not forgotten you today. Thanks for watching, Lynn Mills. Total Coins, uh, Master Temple, Jamie Ladd, 79, Freddie Mercury again, Karen, 50p. I saw Alex Blondon. I've seen Amber Wakeling, James the Fisherman, um, Ice Phoenix as well. I don't, can't see you there. Karen, 50p. Thanks for a great hunt. Thank you very much for watching. Well, for those of you on Twitch, good evening, exactly. <laughs> I hope you all have a fantastic week as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye. And for those of you still on YouTube, we have got a AJ as games, uh, Tobias, Retronaut, Vittorio, uh, Douglas Bell, Numismatist UK, Les Likes Coins, Laughter, Mackenzie. Oh my goodness, we're flying here. Robert Roberts, James B. Hoy, uh, Kurt, Brakeman, Bungle Collects, Lady M, Purple Fairy, Steve Ufton, Lumpy Custard, amazing. DCC Games, Rough Tree, uh, James Woodley, The Unconventional Marathon Runner, uh, Alice the Great, GSA Wolf's Coins, um, Lord Dragon Force, Jelly Fishy, <laughs> open a pack with your feet, not a chance. That's weird. Janet Smith, Kyle Ismail, Jerry Mack, James Woodley, uh, Martin Ross, Gavin, Garen Davis, Just Stevie, Steve Diamond, Goblins, Nuke, uh, Finlay, Cart, Finlay Cartwright, World War II history buff, Alistair, Mighty Adventures, uh, Agniscus Romanowska, um, As the Great Again, Darren Coles, Zippity U, Da Zippity A. <laughs> uh, laughter Javid found the coin Scottish Craig James Woodley all the coin tubers thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins <laughs> <laughs>